Change your pillowcase. And if you are having severe acne or breakouts often, change your pillowcase every night. It doesn't cost that much. I got a set of like 10 of them, I think at like Ross or Marshalls or something like that for, I don't know, like let's say like 30, 40 bucks at very most. That's not a lot when you really factor in what it's saving you from and how much money you're saving on skincare products, on advanced procedures, all of those things. So that's where I start. Our skin is shedding naturally all the time. Between the buildup of dead skin, drool, hair products, and then whatever else is floating in our air, pillowcases need to be changed regularly. Same for body acne. If you're experiencing a lot of body acne, make sure you're changing your sheets regularly as well. I know some of you guys don't be changing them once a week like you should, but something we need to incorporate, okay? Also, make sure your pillowcases are white so that they can be sanitized with bleach. The next thing is going to be to wash your makeup brushes. When is the last time you wash your makeup brushes? Be honest, this is a safe place. Yeah, um, I've gone way too long without washing. That's annoying, that's the laundry. Anyways, I've gone way too long without washing my brushes, so that's gonna be the next thing that I take care of. And I just take this giant glass bowl, you know the bowl, the puke bowl, um, and I'm gonna get fill it up with hot water and antibacterial soap and dish soap. I use the combination together. The antibacterial is for obvious reasons, but I feel like the dish soap really gets in there and gets all the grease and grime out, so <laughs> I just mix them. Once they're washed, I just go ahead and individually dry them and then I'm going to set them out and just let them air dry the rest of the way. The next thing that I do is focus on my course of action and treating the actual acne. And there's a couple different options that I have and because I'm an esthetician, I have more options than the average person. But the first thing that I do is try to figure out what exfoliant I'm going to use. Because acne is a buildup of dirt, sweat, and skin, exfoliating is really important during a breakout. So I always try to make the decision if I'm gonna do a chemical peel or an enzyme treatment. You can get either of these treatments done at a med spa. I'm fortunate enough to have it available for me at home. Another thing that I have to make a decision on is if I'm going to use benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. Both are really great for treating and are antibacterial. So it's going to focus on the actual infection of the pimple. But yeah, I, I use one or the other. I don't ever do both. And if I'm using benzoyl peroxide, I will use this during the day and then I'll still use my tretinoin, which is what I typically do at night. And when I use my tretinoin in order to get ahead of the dark spot that I know is coming because that's how my skin is set up. Brown girls unite. I always use tretinoin in combination with a tyrosinase inhibitor. This one I've really been loving. Um, it's a transemic acid. It's from the Inky List. The letters are all janky now, but I swear it works awesome. Other options for a tyrosinase inhibitor are going to be absorbic acid, cogeic acid, hydroquinone, alpha arbutin, azaleic acid. There's a lot of different options out there, but I prefer transemic acid, and it's known to be as effective as hydroquinone in studies um, without all of the side effects. So I really love transemic acid, but do what you do. And I do want to say this, if you're a person that gets hyperpigmentation, you really need to start treating it before it happens. If you have a breakout, you know it's coming. Um, the best time to treat it is prior to it existing, if that makes sense. You're going to get ahead of the extra melanin production that doesn't need to be there. So yeah. Another thing that I do, a little surprise for ya. Mm-hmm. This all a little too high. Ooh. Oof, oof. Yeah, so this is a high frequency wand. It has a couple different attachments. And inside of the attachments, there are different gases. So there's neon gas and there's argon gas. The argon is going to be antibacterial, so it's great for pimples. Um, and after I do like a treatment or before I go to sleep, I will just literally just zap it. Like, I'll show you, I'll give you a little example. So, it works better if you have a gauze in place over it. And so I'm just gonna kind of set that there. And you always touch your finger to it before you put it on. And then let go, dab it, back on, and let off. 
And I just do that for a couple of seconds and it just helps get rid of it faster. The red light, which is the R, or my bad, the neon light is good for anti-aging. And I'm pretty sure it's good for cell regeneration. I will correct myself if I'm wrong on the screen. But yeah, those are the things that I use topically to treat it. Um, there are a few other things though internally that I do in order to treat acne from the inside out because we all know acne is your skin's way of communicating and telling you something that's going on internally. So, Okay, the last thing that I do as an esthetician when I have a breakout is I focus on internal things. That means I'm cleaning up my diet, no more takeout. And if I do do takeout, it has to be like more on the healthy side as far as like whole foods. So focusing on whole foods, probiotic and prebiotic rich foods. Prebiotics are weirdly underrated, but they're actually more important than probiotics. I don't know why it doesn't get the hype that it deserves, but I also take supplements and I take most of these supplements every single day but there are some things that I do take extra of when I am noticing a breakout, depending on where it is on my face. First, we have DIM. DIM is a natural supplement that helps with detoxification and hormone balancing. It's made from crufaceous vegetables, meaning like cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, things like that. So it's all natural and it's just been amazing for any like hormonal acne I ever get. Um, so I take this I take this every single day, but I'll take a little bit extra sometimes if I'm noticing breakouts in this area It also has an anti-androgen effect, which means it helps with reducing sebum production So it's gonna be great for breakouts and oily skin as well Another thing that has an anti-androgen effect is spearmint tea again all natural. It tastes amazing It's really good for helping balance out your hormones I'll drink this here and there for mostly taste, but when I'm having a breakout I definitely load up on this turmeric Which is the most powerful natural anti-inflammatory on the market because acne is a local infection, which also is inflamed um, this can really help with that again i take this every single day but i do if i need to load up a little bit more or incorporate the seasoning turmeric into my diet probiotic supplement because your gut health is directly related to your skin health when you are breaking out it's your skin's way of communicating and telling you something internally is going on so really try to focus on probiotic and prebiotic rich foods and supplements that are going to fuel the good bacteria in your gut also back to the diet thing if I can't incorporate enough vegetables like green vegetables and fruits into my diet to get a good balance of vitamins and minerals I will go ahead and supplement with greens and I usually take it in combination with vitamin C vitamin C is going to help your body absorb things faster and more efficiently so I just kind of like combine these two in addition to the greens it also has an adaptogen blend um, superfood blend pre and probiotic blend and then also an antioxidant blend so it has a bunch of great things in it and then I also load up on hibiscus tea it's super rich geez it's super rich in vitamin c which is really good for your skin and the regeneration of your skin so yeah another thing um, you can incorporate into your diet when you're breaking out for like probiotic and prebiotic rich foods is going to be kombucha i'm vegan so i do aqua kefir um which is a vegan non-dairy version of kefir and I also do like a coconut yogurt or almond yogurt um, that's really rich in probiotics as well you should also be drinking a ton of water to flush out any toxins from your body and to make sure that you're not dehydrated okay I hope that was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to get back to you thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one love you